The reason why I wanted to do this broadcast today <coughs> is this is Amanda and we're talking. This is our guest speaker, Amanda Summerall, um, uh, Diamond Coach, Beach Body, Smile, Fabulous. Woo! <laughs> Woo All right, so we just had a Super Saturday here in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, and she gave a really profound testimony about um, the power of now, right now, fourth quarter. This is the quarter that is going to set the pace for not only the, the first quarter of the year, that's when everybody's thinking about fitness, but in her case, it set the tone and the tenor for her, um, her, the, her entire life for you to do is to um, maybe take us back to when you first started as a coach Talk to us about you know what happened you know during those first you know uh, few months as a coach. Then some of the challenges that you faced, and what are some of the decisions that you made this time last year that has made a, that impact of this awesome year that you've had so far in 2014. All right, I can do that. Um, so thank you, everyone who is listening to this call. Um, if you're here, then you are serious about. Um, committing to your business and moving your business forward and you may be in a slump, you may be feeling the uh, fall slowdown that happens um, to a lot of us so don't you're not alone, don't feel like you are. Um, when I started as a coach I actually signed up as a discount coach in July of 2012 and I went through Brazil butt lift and P90X and um, just as I was getting started with TurboFire um, in November of 2012, I lost my job. And I thought, well, I have this Beachbody website thing set up. Um, people have been asking me what I've been doing. I guess I could give it a try while I, you know, I'm looking for something else. So I started asking people if they wanted to be in a challenge group and um, asked everybody I knew. I probably asked, maybe sent 300 invitations. Um, I'm got a bunch of Facebook jail warnings because I was sending out too many. Um, but I got a group of about 30 people in for my January challenge group. And I was stoked. I was like, oh, this is easy. Coaching is awesome. We just ask people and they jump on and make money and that's great. Um, what I wasn't realizing was that, of course, everybody wants to lose weight on January 1st. So uh, it wasn't necessarily me. It was just I had kind of good timing that I that I started. So. January went really well. February, I was in a team cup. Either February or March, I was up to 30 points, 30 SC points. I was really doing well in the beginning. Um, all spring, I did awesome. I was hitting over 10 points every month. Went to Vegas in June of 2013. Came back, had a great July with team cup again, 30-something points. Um, and then August, I started hitting a wall. I felt like I had harassed everybody in my life in July so I could get those 30 points and I didn't have anyone to talk to in August and I didn't really want to bug anyone so I just kind of was like, it's alright to take a breather Amanda, just enjoy it, you've done great and then things started falling apart. As I was taking a breather my coaches were going through some personal things. At that point I was a diamond coach um, and my, one of my coaches in July had hit diamond, so I was a one-star qualifying for five of the six weeks required. I was a one-star qualifier, and then um, she lost her rank. She was going through some personal things, and and her life took um, priority, which is fine. It's going to happen. Um, so she lost rank. I lost my qualification. Within the next couple of months, September and October, things were getting slower and slower, and. I was getting more frustrated and my coach had disappeared and another one of my coaches was having to cancel and those were my producers and before I knew it by November I was start qualifying back through Diamond, back through Ruby and I was sitting at an Emerald as an Emerald coach with probably 14 discount coaches under me but nobody um, who was trying to build the business. And in October I was listening to a training call and I love the training calls, I love personal development but sometimes I don't like being told what to do. So I, whenever people really say, you got to focus on Success Club, you got to hit Success Club, you got to do this, and I'm like, okay, I hear you with your Success Club spiel. But really, if you're focusing on Success Club and you're not 
hitting it, it's progressing through this training. What they kept saying was, if you want a great spring harvest, you have to start planting now. So you're working right now. You're sowing the seeds for your spring harvest. And I've told some of my coaches, write that down. I'm working for my spring harvest. Write it down. Post it on your computer. Put it on your screen, on your phone. Post it in your bedroom, you know, your bedroom wall or your bathroom mirror. Um, and really focus, rather than focusing on Success Club, focus on talking to people and building relationships and planting those seeds. If you're focusing on Success Club, you're not going to hit it. You need to focus on people and on your friendships and on helping others. And I was really struggling last fall, and I considered walking away from Beachbody because I thought, this clearly, I'm not doing this right. If I was, you know, on this high, and I was climbing, 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 and then I dropped to Emerald, which is not a bad rank, but I had been in it long enough and been working hard enough and had enough success where I should have been past that point, I started getting down on myself. But I kept listening to this training, and she said, don't give up. Keep pushing, keep planting your seeds right now for what's going to happen in the spring. So I did. And and sometimes I really questioned myself, and I really questioned this person who I was listening to, but I kept doing it, and I kept doing it. And I wrote down some of my success club points for last year. That, um, that fall, I think I got one point in August. That was after my big high of 30-something in July. Um, I think I had five in September, six in October, three in November. But because I was planting these seeds, and remember, I had not been below 10 all year, so I thought I was, you know, the lady the man, whatever. Um, so I was really struggling and I was going, these numbers are going down. I'm it's not worth it. I should just walk away now. And because I'd been planting those seeds and building those relationships and being a presence, I was consistent with my Facebook posts. Um, the people, the people, people started coming to me as it started getting closer to New Year's because again, that's when everybody's number one resolution is to lose weight or get healthy. So by being consistent, that I think it's a real challenge, especially when you feel like you don't have an audience, when um, you know, you're posting something that you think is incredibly motivational and inspiring, and you might get two likes on it, or no likes on it, or nobody talks about it. You just got to keep going. Don't let that part discourage you. Don't even look at the response rates. Just keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. Stay consistent. Be that person that's trying to push through. You don't have to be perfect because, you know, I would not do well with a perfect coach. I would not do well with somebody who never had a problem worrying about sweets, who never missed a perfectly healthy meal, who never cheated, who got every work on it every day. You know, I relate to people who are human. And I think a lot of people relate to me because I'm human. I will say, I just down the whole thing in July, human, and then Amanda messes up, you know, they can relate to that a little bit more. So post real posts throughout the fall. Connect with people. Be inspiring. Be you. When it comes to the end of December or mid-December and people start planning for, you know, getting healthy in January, um, they'll start thinking, who, who is up, you know, who do I know that can help me get in shape? Who do I know that could help me lose these 20 pounds. Oh, Amanda's always posting on Facebook about challenge groups and inviting people, and I don't know what she's talking about, but she seems to know what she's talking about. I'm going to ask her if she can help me. So last December, I got 11 success club points. In January, I got another 10. February, I got 13, and it just kept going and going and going. And so I've been over 10 this year. Um, I'm on my on the way, two months away from being a Success Club 10 All-Star. Um, by the end of the year, as I finish the year with all Success Club 10s, I will have another seven or $750 in cash to go on um, the trip, the Success Club trip next year. So really, if I had walked away, obviously, we wouldn't be sitting here. I wouldn't have helped the extra 150 people I've, I've helped so far this year. Um, but also, there are you know, there's, I wouldn't be me. There's so much that comes from you putting good out into the world and you planting those seeds and building those 
relationships that's changed who I am and how I do my business and how I feel and think about this whole beach body and helping others thing. It's not about hitting success club every time. It's not about, you know, hitting that number. It's about helping change people's lives. And if you climb in rank and then you go back down, you just got to keep climbing again because the, the path doesn't go, you know, it's not this straight line to success. It's up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And when you go down, the thing that's right around the corner is another up. So you can't quit when you're down. Um, so the point of this whole call is to really take these next three months. You have today's October 1st. You have through the end of the year to plant as many seeds as you can, build relationships, make new friends, join groups, go on hikes, um, you know, find people that have some common interests. If it's a parenting group on Facebook or a quilting group or people who like Comic-Con or whatever, just be a presence, make friends. Um, and plant seeds and you will reap that harvest in the spring.